Hey and welcome to the Virgos. My name is Alia. And similarly to last week, I really wanted to delve a bit more into weekly planning with you all. If you haven't seen last week's video, we went through monthly planning more in depth, so I'll put that above in case you missed it. But this week, we're going to be talking about weekly planning. So for me, the reason that I plan on a weekly basis is that planning on a monthly basis gives me more of an overview while planning weekly lets me know what's going on right now. I'm able to see what I need to see, what I need to do within a manageable seven day time frame, which highlights the biggest and most important tasks. And with why I plan on a weekly basis, I kind of want to tell you why I don't plan on a daily basis. So some people really enjoy daily planning and I definitely recommend it if you're a very busy person or have days that feature different big tasks or jobs every day. But for me, I work in a school, so my weekdays are the same basically from the time I get up to about 3 p.m. With that being the majority of the day, a daily planning insert would just be redundant for me and basically just too much space to recite the same thing again and again and again and again. So now let's get into when I plan because for me that does make a huge difference. Typically I will plan on Sunday mornings. It's simple and they're usually slow for me. For the purpose of this video I do like to record my YouTube videos on Thursdays so it's a little off but it's okay. <laughs> But if you're looking into starting your weekly planning routine, I highly recommend planning on the same day every week during a time where you don't have to rush, where there's little to no distractions and romanticizing it. And romanticizing your planning could look like whatever it needs to for you. That will vary from person to person. For me, I love a good mimosa or even just having some water in a nice wine glass, keeping some lo-fi music on and just allowing myself the time that I need to peacefully plan my week. Now let's talk about what I use. So firstly, I do use the Zebra Sarasa Perpinet pen with Zebra Sarasa dry ink inside of it in the nib size 0.7. I also like to use highlighters when I plan. Right now I'm really into the Tombow ones and the three main colors that i like to use are n75 n65 and n89 they're kind of just different forms of gray to be honest <laughs> i'm not really big on decorative planning but i do like to use stickers um the sticker book that i have is from koi and hun i just use that to organize but the stickers that i typically will use are either from your everyday planner, the planner spot, or cloth and paper. Let's talk a little bit about the insert that I like to use. So the insert that I use to plan my weeks is from Rosie Pepper 3. It's their dated weekly hourly insert. So this insert has a Monday start with a 6 a.m. to 10 p.m. time blocking section for your weekdays, space to write or make list for Saturday and Sunday, a mini monthly calendar that highlights the current week, space for priorities, two checklists, a section to track habits, you can fit about five habits here, space for the next week, and a small note section. So within the time frame that I've been using it, roughly since January, I have grown to really, really love this insert. So when I got it, I was looking for an insert with a time blocking section, which is basically this hourly portion over here. The insert that I was using last year did not have a time blocking section and I felt like that is what led me to stop using it. I like to plan my day based on what's feasible. If I have work from 8 to 2, it wouldn't make sense for me to try to fit, say, a nail appointment because Lord knows I desperately need one. <laughs> it wouldn't make sense for me to fit a nail appointment in at 1 or even at 2.15 because visually and realistically, it just wouldn't work. I also love that it keeps me accountable with the trackers as well as the section for priorities because realistically speaking, not everything on the to-do list gets marked off as to done. But a few priorities that I can manage. So when I'm using this insert, I like to first go back and take a look at my monthly spread. Just to see if I have anything important coming up, then I will go over to the week that I'm currently in and basically just put stickers for when I go to work. I like to start by highlighting that portion because that doesn't change. 
Then I'll go and put in a sticker for my morning and nightly routines. After that, I'll use stickers of varying sizes to show me big and medium tasks. And I do also want to talk about what gets put as a task versus what goes on my to-do list. So what I'll put on my to-do list are things that are not time sensitive. But over here, I'll put things like appointments or things that I have to do within a certain time frame. For example, a meeting or a parent-teacher conference will go over here, but preparing for something that I have coming up will go on the to-do list. Lastly, I do like to add a quote. Typically, I'll just put a quote here that'll help me keep calm or quiet down all the open tabs that I have in my brain. <laughs> All right, so this is basically what my weekly looks like. I have all of the times where I go to work. This is honestly a pretty chill week for me to just work my routines, filming on Thursday. Over the weekend, I do have some things to do. I have two appointments. I upload on Sundays and I like to do my weekly routine on Sunday as well. For my tracker, I just have that I wanna drink 30 milliliters of water, finish my notes every day, journal every day, and I'm really, really, really trying to have three meals every day, but I'm just a girl. <laughs> um, a few things going on next week. The priorities for this week are to follow up with my doctor and my work forms. And I don't have many things on my to-do list yet. That usually grows as the week progresses. And the quote that I went with was always create art, food, whatever, enjoy the beauty of it. I thought that one was really cute. But for the most part, this is my week. So after you write the plans down, it's super important to follow up and you know have a schedule or routine as to when you check back in. Personally, I like to check my planner daily. I start with the trackers, just putting a little X in if I've done it. And then after that, I will just look at the week and see if there's anything pressing for the next day take a look at my priorities and then my to-do list and that's typically it my routine for checking back in with my plans is very very short it takes me roughly two to five minutes per day so very small amount of time to keep myself on track but that is all that i have for you guys today if you liked it please go ahead and leave me a like leave me a comment let me know what other videos you'd like to see and as always, thank you guys so much for watching. Catch you in the next one. Bye.